Monsters, villains, criminals, animals. Every one of us has been branded with these insults at some point in our lives. But why? Are we that different from those who hunt for meat to survive, or for those who kill for territory? Of course not. I submit to you that we are the victims of evolution, the next step in mankind's acclamation to this hellish existence. The adaptation we were given wasn't meant to be ignored or persecuted. It's our way of survival. We cannot allow the humans to hunt us down. Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your story Lord as you the mad high lord the plus is harming just spiffing level 22 box as men when good as fuck it is 13 and the run hooter guy We must show them we are a force to be reckoned with Well rest easy now my brothers and sisters It's time to stop all of the running all of the hiding and all of the denying We will organize we will prepare we will teach you to cope with your differences, and we will keep you alive. We are the family, and together we will stand united. I wonder what the consequences of killing them all once I have talked to Ian is. I was doing great, but I think I'm finally beginning to get the hang of it. He's been through some serious shit. We're both extremely proud of you. You've come such a long way in a short amount of time. Well, you're all talking so much. Asshole, Hello? Son. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. Hello. What is this place? This is Moresti, the home of the family. It's the only safe place for these poor people. Tell me about the family. My husband started this group not long ago. He was trying to save them from a life of hardship and ridicule. They come from all over the wasteland now to find us and become part of the family. Cool. I got to go now. It was good talking to you. Times. Oh, hey there. I will kill you last. I may have lied. Hey there. How's it going? Uh, let's see. I think I already searched all of these, right? Oh, I might have not. Am I seeing? I am. Let me see now. Right. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Open food locker. Get the cigarettes. Go. Good. I never claimed for this character to be a good one, did I? Eh, I didn't. Alright. More six. This is not actually something I would do in a modern day scenario, but I guess it was considerable in a post apocalyptic scenario where, you know, self and those you care about come first. Alright. This is a nice room. That's a nice teddy bear. Quite an odd setting Vance has set up for himself here. Sword cabinet. Oh. I wish I could open that. But alas, I cannot. On the plus side, I can steal all of the stuff anyway. But I really need to fix my sword, so that is an issue. To be fair, I would probably get enough skill points from one level to get my block picking to the required level for that scenario to occur. Alright, nothing in this direction. So what we have here is the restroom. What can we do with this? Unlock security area door. Okay. I think the other options are not in my advantage. It's a lot brighter here. 
bit creepy even. Uh, Ian is sleeping. Can I sneak the letter into Ian's inventory? And then just get out of here without any consequences at all. Like... Where is it? Oh, but it's not even in my... Really in my... Ter uh, yeah. Wake up, you bastard. Stop for a chair break. What do you want? I've been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? Huh. I know what you did. Vance told me everything. And you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Uh, look, Ian, I know lost you. I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the answer. There's something inside me. Something completely messed up. I'm a mutant. A fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? I read this letter, Ian. Lucy wrote it. I bet it will change your mind. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. No, well, I can't kill everyone right now, then. Because otherwise, Ian will attack me. Un of course, unless uh, the family attacks me first. In which case, all systems go. Slaughter time. It appears but first, we have a lot to speak about. I yes. hear that you decided to speak to Ian regardless of my warnings. Yes. Be that as it may, I am still interested in what you conversed about. Did he come to a decision? Uh, before I talk about Ian, there's still the matter of Arafud to discuss. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from blood packs. Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Arafu donates blood packs and in exchange you protect them? Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. Ian's decided to leave the family. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Oh, shish kebab chunk schematics. How does I make shish kebabs? Shish kebabs sound good. That she sounds pretty decent. At the workbench, combine motorcycle gas tank, pilot light, lawn mower blade, motorcycle handbrake. When ignited and used properly, the shish kebab provides two important functions in a melee: slashing and burning. I think I can actually find these things, can't I? Yeah, I've seen them around. Vespertilio. Uh, I can't read that. Wonder glue. Well, I could also make that, but that's an un unarmed weapon. Not really my kind of thing. Can I make them go unread? 
Yes, I can. That takes a while. Good. Well, that takes care of that problem. I think a shish kebab actually sounds pretty, pretty damn nice. So, um... Let's go get the pilot light. Done. Uh, was there anything else here I could use for that? Uh, those are baseball bats. Do, 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 do. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Hey, hi. Don't worry about it. I'm just looking for pieces to make a shish kebab. I don't want to take yours because we're friends. Uh, as you know, or as our friendship might be. Scrap hammer. I didn't mean to take that. Hello again. Holy. Oh, holy. Okay. Proceed with your thing. I'll go check by the workbench in case there's something there that might assist me in crafting this this turpentine. Do I need that? There's a toolbox with nothing useful. Let's scrap metal. No, of course not. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime. Why would they break into this? That's right, America. Don't be silly. Before we were devastated by atomic war, I suppose the things I'm looking for are not in this particular place. Okay, so where does this lead? To a collapsed tunnel. Something I also found out was that apparently the North Seneca station actually connected to the Meristy service tunnel by some route or another. Alright, oh, this is this place. Dude, where are you? Dude? I saw him. Oh, Robert. You again. What's up? No time for sleep. You. What's up? Uh, Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. Keep those peepers away from me. Alright, he went to sleep though, right? Yeah, he did. So, um, first aid box. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Certainly worth breaking into. Nothing in the register. Guess he did ammo as well. Can't hurt. Anything else I may have missed? Oh, there's a toolbox with conductors. And an ammunition box, which is always good. More first aid stuff. Including a... What was it? A pin of some sort. <gasps> a spatula! I will keep this holy relic here. It's safe here. Oh, did Robert wake up? Robert? No, he didn't. Then who detected me? Huh? Where? Why? What is doing to detect thing of me? This doesn't matter. Alright, now let's try to make it safely out of here. Might get out of here by the next episode even. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Wait, bye. Bye bye next episode, I mean in the next episode. Yeah, that's more like it. I guess I'll see you around.